Uh, the Kaduna State Peace Commission Elections Monitoring Committee has commended residents and the teaming youths for rejecting calls to violence by desperate politicians during and after the concluded governorship and House of Assembly elections in the state. The commission say key stakeholders need to continue to strengthen voter education, mobilization and sensitization of populace to deepen democracy and good democratic culture in the state and country at large. Speaking at the presentation of election report in Kaduna, Executive Vice Chairman of the Commission, Salim Mali, says voters exercise their constitutional rights in an orderly and respectful manner, cooperating with election officials, security agencies, and other stakeholders involved in election and coalition processes. The conduct of the elections on 18 March 2023 throughout Kaduna State was generally peaceful. It was pleasing to observe how voters exercise their constitutional rights in an orderly and respectful manner, cooperating with elect election officials, security agencies, and other stakeholders involved in the election and collation processes. Similarly, priority was accorded to the elderly, nursing mothers, and people with disability at the polling units, which is highly commendable. Additionally, the people of the state remain calm and peaceful throughout the collation process at all levels, resulting in declaration of the election results for the governorship and most of the House of Assembly constituencies. We note that there are a few House of Assembly constituencies to be concluded, urging citizens to ensure that the by-elections are also conducted peacefully. The Commission appreciated the Kaduna State Council of AMS and Chiefs Security Agencies, Khan, JNI, House of Kaduna Family, the numerous religious bodies and clerics, CSOs, media organizations and practitioners for the contributions towards the peaceful conduct of elections in the state. Are strongly appealing to political parties, the electoral bodies, the media, and other stakeholders to refrain from incitements, provocation, and exploiting existing ethno religious divides in political discourse and campaigns. Political campaigns should be guided by the provisions of the relevant legislations and guidelines. Thus, campaigns should be issue-based, reflecting the needs of the society rather than primordial sentiments. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.